Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Dear family, friends, and loved ones, you have come here to share in this formal commitment they make to one another to offer your love and support to this union and to allow Jonathan and Reggie to start their married life together surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short, others are long, some are yet unwritten, while others are just getting to the good part. There are chapters in all of our stories that are sad or disappointing, and others that are exciting and full of adventure, like the one we are celebrating here today. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting, and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. Jonathan and Reggie, you fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. So, will you, Jonathan, take this woman to be your wedded wife, to laugh with her, support her through life's tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day? I will. Will you, Reggie, take this man to be your wedded husband, to laugh with him, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day? I will. By the power of your love and commitment, and the power vested in me by the Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod in the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Maxwell. Congratulations.